What it is, my Tano Peace and Grace here, bringing you part two of the Pyrus Project. And we are currently at a relay at Close Face Talk in Cephalon Samaris' house. Now, there's a very good reason why we're here. We're here because we needed to get our new synthesis target. Because that is part of the goal to complete the Pyrus Project. So that's why you need a synthesis target, and that is why we are here. Now, I actually, um, my synthesis target is a Bombard. I can see you are hungry for the knowledge of the same. Uh, I have found its location, which for me is on Samaris. With your help, Samaris. Yeah, yeah, it's on Samaris, yeah. I wish sometimes, but no, it's on Saris. So that's where my synthesis targets are located. I have synthesized, or I have done one scan. I need three more. But this is a good thing. I'm hoping... I'm hoping because I, you need to defeat the Grustrog three three times. So hopefully they will be more apt to appear in Grenier locations, obviously. Good. And Even if I can get them to appear at the same time I'm getting my Bombard skins done, hey, works fantastically if, if it works out the way that I'm planning. So let's go over a quick uh, quick tip here. Um, if you have Please, not... Uh, oh, you Samara, this. shut up. Uh, you are you are just in, okay. Fine. This is how I can help you help the sanctuary. Are you done? Okay, thanks. Good gravy. Okay, so what you're going to need is you are going to need a scanner, and you are going to need uh, if you've never done this before, I recommend the kinetic siphon traps. Ha now, however, if you have some time under your belt in the Game of Warframe, you don't have to have the Kinetic Siphon Traps. And the reason I recommend this, which I mentioned in the Part 1 video, was there are going to be... Uh, there's a Ribbon Challenge that says to synthesize a target without traps. So, not using traps is going to get you used to synthesizing those targets and make it a little bit easier for you when you get that Ribbon Challenge. So, use traps or don't. It's up to you. It's kind of like using Cypers to hack terminals. If you use them too much, then uh, it could actually affect your ability to hack. Uh, so, it's up to you. Use what you like to use. As I said, you will need uh, sensors to scanners. Um, basically, consider this film like in a camera. Each time you use one, you scan something, you're going to lose a charge. Uh, however, I do recommend, if you have the standing... I recommend all of these widgets, but if you only have the standing to buy one, I recommend, recommend the Soul Battery widget. And the reason why is because you don't need the actual film or charges for the synthesis scans. This automatically replaces it. And this works really well with Helios as well. So, uh, yeah, I do recommend that. So let's go over some facts and figures. Let's go over some numbers on what you're going to need for the Pyrus project. Now... For the Py Py Pyrus project, you are going to need to build five relay struct components. Each relay struct component is going to take 15 Trimbera Essence. So, five times 15, you're going to need 75 Trimbera Essence. That's to build all five of those struct relays. Now, those take three hours each to build. You've got five of them, so you have a total of 15 hours to build all five. If you want to rush them, they cost 10 plat each. 10 plat each times 5, you're looking at 50 plat if you want to rush it. I personally don't rush things. I just don't. Um, I don't see any point to it. I, I guess I'm not impatient. So, yeah. You know, me, personally, I don't recommend rushing it. Um, for the sake of this video, I did I rush them for I you know, guys you uh, to help kind of conclude, wrap up this video, you know, wrap up this video and get through it a little bit quicker. Um, but, yeah, it's up to you. So the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need 30 Pyrus Essence. Now, as I showed in part one, uh, they appear about every five minutes on from survival missions from what I'm seeing, give or take, about every five minutes. So if they appear every five minutes, you need 30 Pyrus Essence, you get one Pyrus Essence from each target. Then you're looking at about, yeah, give or take, about 150 minutes. So that's without a farming frame, that's without a resource booster. So, yeah... I was running a Necros, as you guys recall, in part one of this video. And I'm also running a resource booster, which seemed to help. So, on my runs, give or take-ish, about 20 minutes in a survival mission on Pasinus, I was getting about 16 Pyrus Essence. 
from my capture targets total. Uh, I was also netting about 50 something Trembera Essence. Uh, and as I said, you're going to need 75. So I did do another run on Poseidonus. I did get more Pyrus Essence and I did get more Trembera Essence. And I got all everything that I needed. And I did rush my Strut Relay components, all five of them, so those are done. That leaves two objectives left, and that is to defeat the Groove Strut 33 times and to scan a Cephalon Samaris target, which that is why we are here. So let's go to the Lorunda Relay. Okay, so when you want to contribute your resources on the Lorunda Relay, you're going to go talk to this Steel Meridian, uh, this Grenier woman right next to the terminal. Uh, and you will click on her to talk. And this is going to list... What do you have for our builders, Tenno? This is going to list the objectives. And as you contribute your Pyrus Essence, it will update. Uh, Sargus Ruck will appear over here and be like, Brr, brr, I'm angry. And then uh, when you contribute your relay strut towers, strut components, excuse me, he is going to appear again and be like, Brr, brr, I'm angrier. Uh, so yeah, that's how that works. Now, I don't know what happens if you contribute. Um, you've already contributed. Okay. What about Pyrus Essence? You've already contributed. Okay, so you can't contribute any more than what is designated. So this leaves two objectives left. Defeat the Groostrock 3 and scan a Cephalon Samaris target. So that's what we are focusing on doing thus far. As I said, I have one scan. I have three scans left. So hopefully this will update because I will tell you I when I did my first scan, I did not contribute my Pyrus Essence and I did not contribute my Strut, rea uh, strut Relay components. And in the process of trying to scan my Samaris target, what ended up happening was Another capture target with more Pyrus Essence appeared, which I don't need that. What I need is the Groostrock 3 to appear. Now, I don't know if there's a designated location that they appear. Hopefully, they will appear in any Grenier location. But let's find out together, you and I, shall we? So let's get out of here. And let's head to my location to find my synthesis target. So... Let's do this. Hopefully, I'm hoping that getting a Grenier synthesis target is a good thing. And that in the process, you know, I hate the fact that my decorations all just kind of bloop, just disappear whenever um, it takes a while to, scheme, to jump in. I don't get it. But anyway, I digress. I'm just going to check something really quickly here. Because I am curious. Hmm. Interesting. So I uh, actually have... My Halloween decorations from... Uh, last year? Uh, and I was just wondering if you could equip them now. We are in October, so I was just kind of curious. Can you equip them? But, yes. I apparently you can. So that's okay. That's all right. I was just curious. If you could equip them early. I, I personally think you should be able to. Like, if you have Christmas decorations from 
you know, a couple of years ago. Uh, uh, if you have uh, Halloween decorations from a couple of years ago, uh, you should be able to equip them at any time, like all year round. It shouldn't be, you shouldn't be forced to be in that. That way, you know, just just my two cents. But anyway, so again, I found my first uh, Samaris target on Ceres, uh, on Lex, which is a capture mission. So we're going to jump in here again and see about finding our next synthesis target. And hopefully, the Groostrog 3 will appear in this process. But we'll see. Again, I don't know. We're learning this together. We're doing this at the same time. So we shall see. Now, if you've never scanned a Samaris target before, essentially what, you, uh, what I recommend is a stealth frame. Uh, and the reason for this is because you need to equip your synthesis target. Intel that's um, to enemy your synthesis scanner, here. excuse me. Uh, so them. having your synthesis scanner Bound equipped... The okay, there's my next one. Use it, so that's what you're looking for. This is how you know you have a target present. Because Lotus will talk, then you, typically your operator will say something. Uh, for the Geno, for the Lotus, or whatever. And then Sepulon Samaris will appear like you just saw. And he will tell you there is a synthesis target here. So what you want to do is, you're going to want to equip your synthesis scanner. Now, you're not completely defenseless at this point. Scans indicate um, because in while your synthesis scanner is active, you can still melee. Uh, however, you do not have your, first, your primary or secondary weapon equipped at this point. This is why I recommend having a stealth frame. Uh, because in this way, you can just go invis, have your synthesis scanner available, and you can wander around and look for the synthesis target. Now, this is what we're looking for. These, I, I just call them a pixel trail because they remind me of pixels. Uh, and it's a little trail, and you're just looking for these as you go through the, the map, and you're looking for your synthesis target. So that's how it essentially works. And this is, again, why I typically recommend a stealth frame. It just makes it easier. Now, you can get kinetic siphon traps if you want to use them. Again, entirely up to you guys. If you want to use them, great. If you don't, don't. Um, I am running kind of a speed Loki build because... Uh, It just makes it a little bit easier. Hopefully, we'll get the Goose Drop 3 to appear in this process. So there's the next pixel trail, and you can see another one appear going to the left. So that's where we're headed. Renier chatter indicates a unit with supplies okay. crucial to well, that our that question. near location. You know what to do. I was wondering whether or not a target would appear. If I updated this, and apparently it still presents you with the Pyrus targets, the Pyrus Essence targets. So, oh well, no, no big deal. You found a target. Capture them quickly. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go ahead and cap this target. Uh, get this out of the way, so that we can focus on our synthesis target. So this mission objective is complete. All right. Complete. The captive has been escorted to the extraction. There's our pixel trail, well as you can see. Change so that's where we're headed. Ignore your original objective. Leave nothing alive. All right. There's our pixel trail there. Kill these dudes. He wants me to kill 52. Lotus, I am not a fan when you do this. I'm in the middle of doing something. I'm detecting a large security press heading so your way. So we're continuing it's to look linear. for a pixel trail. Right All right, synthesis. there we go. Tables now I do recommend if you have fire. not. Uh, scan targets, synthesis targets before. Get, go ahead and get the kinetic siphon traps. It does make it easier. Uh oh. And there we go. This will advance That's two down, two to go. 
Let's go ahead and complete this uh, mission. That way we can move on to the next mission. So, you know, this this being part two, what I'll probably do, just so you guys don't have to sit through it, is uh, once I wrap this mission up, I will, just in case the group stock three up here, I'll go ahead and complete my synthesis scan. That way you guys don't have to sit through it with me. Just for ease of convenience of being able to watch it. I am detecting a prosecutor. Get ready for a tough fight. Proven the prosecutors are not Hmm. That's interesting. I have never really seen enemies wandering around the extraction zone like that before. Well, it's been a long time anyway. The enemy is broken. Well done. Now get I'm to stuck. extraction. There we go. Alright, there we go. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and nab that star. Ooh, it's an amber. I take it. All right. Well, no Grove Strong three appearance, unfortunately. Unfortunately, I did complete a second scan of my Samaras target, synthesis target. So, as I said, I'll probably go ahead and wrap this up. We'll call this uh, part two, and then I'll complete my synthesis target, and maybe at that point. I'll start getting group stock three appearances unless there's a specific location that they appear. Uh, we will see what happens. Don't know. Have no clue. As I said, we're learning this together. So, that's the conclusion of this video. So, until part three, peace and grace.